The Reserve Bank of India's Monetary Policy Committee is holding a special meeting on the 3rd of November. It's expected that the panel will discuss a response to the government on why its actions have been unable to rein in inflation. For more on the significance of this meeting, we have with us Managing Editor of the Business Today magazine, Anand Adhikari. Anand, thanks for joining us. Take us through really what's at stake here for the RBI, how uh, you know significant or how difficult really is this task going to be given the kind of conflicting factors they've been dealing with in order to rein in inflation. Thank you, Abha. So as for the mandate, Abha, the you know, RBI response will be on the three major you know, count. One is the, you know, reason for missing the target, uh, you know, for three consecutive quarters. Uh, second will be the action plan. And third uh, will be the timeline, you know, mm -hmm. for getting back, uh, you know, to below 6% and around 4%, which is the target. Now, if you see the reasons, uh, you know, for uh, missing the target, uh, you know, the Russia-Ukraine conflict changed everything. You know, if you see post-February, uh, you know, inflation started moving up. And that was one of the reasons which came out of the view, you know, for RBI. And second, you know, if you see the global interest rate, again, uh, because of high inflation, uh, you know, US, UK, you know, all global economies, they've started hiking interest rate. And that led to depreciation in the Indian currency. And inflation came via the currency route because we import oil and other food grains. Uh, so these are two main reasons, you know, for missing the target. And I'm sure RBI will mention uh, these two factors prominently. Uh, you know, second, uh, you know, if you see the action plan, uh, and that is twofold. You know, one is the liquidity, and second is the repo rate. And today, if I see the liquidity in the system, you know, the average daily liquidity is around two to three lakh crore, and RBI has to reduce that liquidity to contain inflation. And second is the repo rate. I mean, they have already increased repo rate by 190 basis point uh, in, the, in the last five six months, and I'm sure in the coming December policy we'll see further hike. Uh, you know, maybe 35 to 50 basis point. And third and final, uh, you know, is the timelines. Uh, you know, if I see RBI's uh, own projection, uh, you know, is 6.7% for CPI for the entire 20 to 23, uh, which is much higher than the 6% in you know, upper tolerance limit. But RBI expects the interest rate to come down to 5.8% by December quarter. So, you know, uh, October to December quarter, 20 to 23, they expect it to come below 6%, which is good news. And finally, in the first quarter of next year, uh, that is, you know, 23, 24, uh, they expect the inflation to be below 5%. Uh, I'm sure RBI will uh, mention these projections, you know, when they respond to the government. Sure. What are the risks uh, at this point, Anand, as you see them? Because, you know, on one hand, we have the U.S. Uh, finally showing some growth uh, this past quarter. On the other hand, the situation in Europe only seems to be getting worse. So while things seem to be looking a little bit more cheerful for the Fed, uh, you know, back home, what do you think are going to be some of the resulting implications? Where does this place the RBI when it comes to being affected perhaps by also some of those global dynamics and how they could also lead uh, to inflation further being an issue? So the biggest, uh, you know, factor is the geopolitical risk. You know, if I see, uh, you know, on the one hand, we have yeah. you know, global recession, which will impact the, uh, you know, the export and the, you know, other thing. Yeah. But again, on the inflation side, if you see, you know, US and UK, you know, they are facing historically high inflation. It's like a 40-year high uh, of over 8 percent, and their target is 2 percent. Now, to bring down the inflation from 8 percent to 2 percent will take some time, and 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 and, 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 and we'll see. Uh, you know, for the hikes in the global interest rate, and and that will strengthen the dollar, and maybe weaken the rupee. Uh, so we have the biggest threat of uh, uh, you know this imported inflation, uh, which will come via the currency route. And even the RBI, if you see, uh, you know the dollar, dollar, you know the forex reserves. I mean, they had 640 billion, uh, you know, a year back, and now we have some 540 billion, almost 100, you know, billion US dollars shaved off. Uh, so they have limitation to a different rupee. Uh, you know, so so I see the biggest risk which I see is the global geopolitical factor. All right, Anand, thanks so much for joining us with that. Clearly, if you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.